Hi guys, it's Jason here at Northern Soul Sportswear. So I thought it'd be worthwhile uh, running over a couple of heads that were released in 2020 towards the tail end of the year. It might have just gone under the radar. Uh, obviously, COVID hit, you know, last year and a lot of people just didn't get the chance to play lacrosse. Um, don't think there's much lacrosse being played over Europe at all at the moment. There's a couple of countries going back to start to train in. But um, obviously with the lack of lacrosse played last year, you might have missed out on some of the heads that were released to the tail end of the year. So we're having a look at the uh, Maverick Kinetic. So I've got here an original Kinetic. So we're looking at the Kinetic 2.0. Now here we've got one of the original Kinetics. And you might be able to tell that the face shape is identical. It's, there's like no change in the face shape at all. So for Kinetic fans, they're gonna like the sound of that. Uh, this original one is actually a uh, PLL chrome themed die one I did, which is uh, up on our website. So if you're a chrome fan, and you like the original Kinetic, that's a very cool custom one. That's got the uh, limited edition ECD Hero 2 in it. But when you look at the new Kinetic 2, again, there's not a hell of a difference. Um, this sidewall kind of design is ever so slightly different, a bit more rounded on this one, a bit kind of sharper edges on this, um, but very, very similar. So what's the difference? So one of the main differences when you actually look at the two kinetics next to each other is actually the scoop. A lot of people didn't like the scoop on the original kinetic. Um, just it's a little bit sharp and you tend to see that on the kinetic too, it's a bit more rounded, definitely a bit more friendly for ground balls. And just looking at the front siding, the texture is different on these sticks of the finish. I mean, with this dyed one, it, you know, it took a lot of heating to actually get these decals nice and flat without any bleed. So dye-wise, it's certainly gonna be a little bit easier to dye these Kinetic 2s. Um, let's have a look at the other differences here. Let me see what else I can pick out. So on the original Kinetic, it had this, uh, let me show you from this side, this kind of string lock area. I think it was called the string lock. I think it's now called the, uh, the tension lock on the uh, new Kinetic, but it's not as kind of sticky out as the other one, so I don't know if that makes an awful lot of difference, but uh, let's have a look at one we've strung up. So obviously the, the Kinetic and the Kinetic 2 geared more towards a higher pocket. You can see in this one here, nice black one we've strung, a nice high pocket, and this one's actually got uh, ECD Hero 3 in it which definitely seems to be our most popular mesh at the moment. It's on an awful lot Hero 3. So if you're looking to, to switch mesh or you want to try something else, you're a fan of ECD mesh, the Hero 3 is definitely worth trying out. But you can see that nice high pocket in this one. Now it would seem that the Kinetic 2.0 is a little stiffer than the original. If I just grab that original again, just it's definitely a softer head. So let's just check out what plastic this is. So they've changed the plastic. It is now uh, Jura Tough material. Oh, it sounds tough, doesn't it? Jura Tough. Increased stiffness and consistency in all weather conditions. So it would seem that the Kinetic 2 is going to uh, last you a little bit longer than maybe Kinetic 1. But if you were a fan of the original Kinetic, definitely worth going and checking out the Kinetic 2.0.